They will stay longer than you thought if you do this. They will stay longer than you thought if you do this. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. They are going to stay longer than you thought if you do this. This word is coming to someone and you seem to have a difficulty maintaining relationships. It's not like people don't come your way. It's not like God doesn't connect you to people. But there is a difficulty with you maintaining good relationships. And God is saying this is your secret to let the people stay longer in your life. Focus on their strengths and not their weaknesses. The thing is when you focus on weaknesses, they tend to drive you crazy. You tend to want to fix everyone you want. You, 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 you want everyone to be perfect. You want to fix them such that you get more frustrated at what they are not. That you tend to not see who they are or what they are. And it's okay to want to fix people. It's okay to want them to be better. But the thing is, everyone has an issue. Everyone has a downside. Everyone has a problem, a shortcoming, even you. And there are people whose shortcomings are not all that there is. They have strengths and they have weaknesses. The thing is, when you focus on the weaknesses, it, be it becomes too draining. The relationship becomes too draining because you tend to complain all the time. You want to fix them all the time. It's like something is wrong with them all the time. And no matter how hard they try, it's hard to be for them to be appreciated, to feel appreciated. Because the focus is on their weakness. But when you focus on their strength, you, you, you tend to encourage them more. You tend to be more appreciative. And then they feel good about it. And when they feel good, they want to be more of that strength or, or of that person that is appreciated. So their strength becomes stronger while... The strength of their strength is suffocating their weaknesses. So not like you don't see the weaknesses and not like there are some weaknesses you can't ignore. If you realize that the weaknesses are too grievous, you can't deal with them. I'm not saying you ignore the weaknesses, but I'm saying there is a way that you, if you see that the weaknesses are, there at least the strengths surpass the weaknesses. Then focus on the strength. That even if you are working on the weaknesses, your focus is on the strength. You appreciate their strength. You appreciate what they are doing. It brings out the best in them. Hallelujah. I hope this word reaches you at the right time. God bless you. Shalom.